Hey, welcome back guys. Uh, so today I'm going to be talking a little bit about how to hide your files and folders. Um, things that you'd rather, I guess, keep to yourself, I suppose. Um, or files you need to uh, keep contained for some unknown reason, I guess. But anyways, there's three different ways to do this that I'm aware of. So I'm just going to kind of go through each one of them here. Um, the first one you might probably already know, I guess. So let's say we open up this folder and we have a bunch of things inside we really don't want people to see. For example, we have these three files here and we don't want anybody to know that they exist. So what we can do is we can actually take all these files, all of them at once if you, if you like, I guess, right click and go to properties and then under properties under the general tab, select hidden. So if we select hidden and press apply, then our files are mysteriously disappeared. So that's one way to hide files. We can also do that with folders as well. The same method applies. So, And by the way, this is Windows 7, so it might be a little bit different in different versions of Windows. But in Windows 7, which is, I guess, the most common operating system, hopefully, nowadays, um, this is how it's done. So we select hidden again, press apply, and voila, our folder is gone as well. But let's say we wanted to get these files back. Well, the way we do that is we go back into the control panel. And under the control panel, under appearance and personalization, we go to show hidden files and folders under the folder options. And under here, we go to show hidden files and folders click apply, we come back to our folder, and we see everything is still there, but it has this weird ghost see-through image quality, but we can bring them back by unselecting hidden again. P pressing apply, voila, our files are back. So, that's one way, but another, another, well, Another good way, I guess, to hide files is, let's say we want to change the icon of one of these guys to something that doesn't appear recognizable. Like, let's say, instead of a text file, we want this to appear as some other random file. And one way to figure out what those icons we can change this to be is to go under the control panel again and this time uh, go under appearance and personalization let's see here whoops I'm sorry let's go back that's gonna be under programs actually so if we go under programs and we select make a file type always open in a specific program this will show us what each extension of every type of file on our computer the, the associated icon with that extension so I guess the method would be to pick an extension that corresponds to some weird goofy icon that nobody probably would open. for example I don't know I guess some of you might know what these icons are but I don't really know what they all are so I'm just gonna pick a random one here like for example I don't know this MDP I guess I'll take that. So if I rename this guy and I go to the extension where it says .txt and I change it to, mm, I don't know, let's make it MIG actually. And we select yes and voila, our icon has changed. And when somebody sees this file, well, I guess they'll still see top secret passwords. That's probably a good idea not to name your files so explicitly, I suppose. But you can change your icon in this manner. And to change it back, we simply, since this was a text file, rename it to a dot extension txt. And select yes. Voila, it's back. So that's another way to change your uh, to change your icons and hide your files. But another good way, I guess, would be to take all your files and folders and store them somewhere deep down in a directory somewhere 
I guess. If you wanted to go, say, into the Chris directory, let me go in here, and I don't know. Or actually, why don't we go into the C drive, maybe uh, some crazy directory in Windows here. WIA, I don't know. Who in the world's going to look in there? So, you can take your whole folder, while uh, place it in there, hide the folder, change the icons, all that great stuff. Hide your really important stuff, whatever you're working on, your thesis, I don't know. But, those are three different ways. So, I hope you learned something in this tutorial today. It's just kind of like a random thing, so... Anyhow, hopefully, hopefully you can put this in effect somehow if you need to be. Alright, well, till next time. Adios.